Hey, what is going on everybody, and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7. Now today, going to be testing Edward. Now, I've heard some things about him, and not all of them were good, but in my testing of him, he's not bad. He's very mediocre, right? He's just a generic bruiser unit that you can build like any other bruiser unit. In fact, I kind of just took my Fire Ken's gear and gave it to him, more or less gave it to him. Um, he was overcapped on crit because I got imprints. I probably didn't need to summon for imprints, so if you haven't summoned for him yet, uh, or you're planning on going for multiple copies, check your gear first. He can work on a crit chance necklace, by the way, which is what I was originally going to have him on, um, but he was overcapped, so now he's on a crit damage necklace and he has like 300 crit damage, so... Uh, we'll see how he goes, I'll show you guys the build at the end of the video, um, but we're gonna go ahead and just set up a draft where he can be usable. Now, Magical Girl Dien right here is very nice, uh, so happy about this epic pass, it is probably the best one we've gotten in a very, very long time. Not to say that the ones we've gotten previously were bad by any means, but this is one of the standout skins for me. Um, just looks amazing. Alright, but our opponent here um, picked A Ravi, so we just went two supports that are really good into A Ravi. This guy's going closer, Charles. Uh, but he's not cleaving, which is strange. Uh, he's going for Spectre Tenebria, which is, I guess it's fine. This is not really a team that I can use Edward into, unfortunately, so we're gonna try to find a team that we can kind of. Uh, you know, squeeze him into. This is just not one of them. So, what we can do here is potentially go for something like uh, C. Lilius, and we can go for. <clears throat> now we gotta go for a big carry unit, right? Let's go for Arc Demon. Arc Demon's a very nice unit to use here. Oh, is he cleaving? He's going to ace Sid. Um, okay, I mean... It's a really weird draft on his part, right? He's just choosing dark units. Um, yeah, not not really sure. I mean, I have one speedy unit, right? See, Lilia's just throwing that out there. Okay, he is gonna go ace Sid, And he's gonna go regular Sid. Okay. I need another uh, carry unit, a unit that can, by themselves, take out everything here, and that is going to be quite difficult to pick because, uh, yeah, it's going to be quite difficult. Um, you know what? Let's go for. Let's go for carrot, and let's ban Stene. How about that? Does that work? This might not actually work. <laughs> Let's just go for it, whatever. Okay, it's gonna be Carrot versus the world. I think I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and see what we can pull off here. Um, it's either gonna be a very short game, we're gonna get cleaved, or it's gonna be a very long game. Alright, Acid's gonna go. He's gonna try to snipe down the C Lilius here. Okay. Sid's gonna go. No attack buff or anything on him. Who's he gonna go for here? His S3 is element neutral, so he could hit Carrot, but there's no reason to right now. Oh, he's just gonna go try to finish off the C Lilius. Closer might be able to do it. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so now it kind of just comes down to can we um can we land burns on carrot? <laughs> That's really all it comes down to here. If we can hit some burns, I know all these units are invasion. Maybe I should use Bryceria here. Uh but yeah. If we can land some burns, I think we're good. You can hit carrot, that's fine. Uh, let's go for... Let's just go for a defense buff here. 
There's a ton of buffs coming out. Alright, and let's go ahead and pop this. If we can hit, come on, if we can just hit some of these evasion units, we'll do just fine. Oh, we hit, oh, we hit both SIDs. Alright, well, they're down. And I believe I just go for this, get a barrier. Why not, right? Cycle healing, cycle barriers, get a bunch of souls. He's gonna go for the DN. Anti crit working there. Uh, I'm gonna go for this right here. Can't dodge everything. There we go. Alright, so it's a squishy closer and it's just an A Ravi against barriers, anti crit defense buff. Uh, pretty much everything that you can think of here. Bop it. Okay. Very nice. I love that Dian has new voice lines, by the way. So nice. Uh, yeah, Arab is gonna slam it probably into Dian. She actually cycled out of her buffs, unfortunately. But he wasn't able to finish her off, so. Yeah, so then there's that. Uh, next turn, Dian would have been able to S3 and then gain combat readiness and then S2 and all that good stuff, so. Pretty good. I think I wasn't expecting to win that, but his team was so squishy that Carrot kind of just works, right? Carrot works into really squishy teams, and she works well into teams that don't do too much damage overall. Um, I mean, his team was jam packed with damage. Don't get me wrong, uh, but the problem with that was um, my units were very bulky too, right? He couldn't cleave through anything. Even C Lilias took three units to kill, so. Alright, let's go ahead and ban these two right here. Bellion, a Ravi ban. Ooh, a Ravi ban. Very nice. The thing with, with um, <coughs> excuse me. The thing with Ed is that, who first picks Harvey? Uh, the thing with Ed is that he, um, let's go with Deanne as well. Uh, you can just, he suffers from the problem of like ML Ken and Dark Corvus and, you know, Yoha. Those types of units don't really work too well in RTA because you can just not hit him and it's fine, right? So with Ed, if you have a debuff attack, you can just not hit him and you're fine. Um, yeah, so, and if your opponent picks units that don't have debuffs, you're also, like, they're also fine, you know? Um, they can't really do anything. Now, here, this is a team that I could Ed, but I'll last pick Ed, right? This is not a team out. Ed's not a unit you want to pick early on, so we're going to try to bait out some more things here. Let's go Alencia. Alencia's good. Um, we're picking Alencia to prevent him from picking things like Shu or other uh, Ice Bruisers. We want to prevent that from happening. Uh, we can also go for Operator Cigarette, probably, just to um, counteract the FCC pick and kind of, kind of make her the Force Ban, right? We can kind of do that here. Now, he has the options to go for really strong picks like Stene, uh, if he has Stene, because Alencia, if, and if I pick Ed at last pick, you know, Stene has to be the ban. We'll see what he goes for. Landy, ooh, that's tough. Let's try Ed into this, but it's gonna be hard. And he's going for Rimuru, okay. So there are a bunch of Earth units. Uh, let's go for Ed, even though he doesn't really have any debuffs, right? But we can go for him anyway, it's an Ed video, right? So let's try it. Edward Elric, let's go. Uh, we're gonna ban the... I think he's banning um, Opsigs. We can just ban... I feel like we ban Rimuru, right? We ban Rimuru, and we should be... Alencia can strip... There we go. So Alencia can strip, and we will be fine, I believe. Alright, so let's put Dien in the back. I think I don't think anyone's going to be really targeting Ed. <laughs> uh, let's protect Dien so that we can actually keep everyone else alive. Might be a mistake, but hey, we'll see. Uh, I was testing Ed yesterday, and... It wasn't recording or anything, it was just just testing. Um, let's just go for anti crate here, I think. He doesn't have a strip or anything, right? I know Landy's gonna S3, but she's gonna S3 eventually anyway, so who cares? Um, just slam it. And we have two fire units. We should be fine. Now that I said that, she's gonna crit everyone. But, as I was saying, 
Uh, I tested it yesterday, and he was he would have won most of his matches. I actually really lost because um, one he has the champion's rado problem of he will miss or not resist. Uh, uh, he will not miss. Uh, resist. He'll just resist debuff sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I saw him double resist a. Uh, Oh god, what was that debuff unit? He double resisted and it was really dumb. So... In that one instance, he resisted multiple times throughout. I think I played about four matches yesterday. Oh, it's a counter RB! Oh, spicy tech, man. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're not gonna S3. Okay, the reason I'm not gonna S3 is because I want soul burns. I've learned that with Ed, you kind of just want to soul burn with him. Also, look, this RB is not going for any, um... This so RB is not going for any, uh, S3s. And the reason why, I think, is that, um, he doesn't want to hit Ed. He doesn't want to blind Ed. So we're going to finish off the landy here. And so now it's counter RB versus the world. <clears throat> I think we, I think we have this, right? I don't think he... I don't think he can do this. Let's go into the Arby. He's gonna counter, it's fine. Now, what we can do is Solburn Ed. Oh, never mind. He's gonna pop the skill nullifier. My Ed's pretty fast as well. He's around 220 something, 227 speed, 220 something like that. So, it's pretty good. Ooh, Valencia hit. Ooh, defense break. Well, I really want to show you guys the damage without the defense break or anything. So let's go ahead and just do this, though. By soul burning, it's only 10 souls, you get to reduce his cooldown by 2 turns, right? Now disregard that damage there, I know it's a lot of damage, but I'm attack buffed and he's defense broken, right? We'll show you the damage when he's not defense broken. Now Ed has not, um, notice how the RB's still not S3. Uh, Ed has not countered, because he hasn't put any debuffs on me, and I'm running Ed's artifact. So the problem with that is um, I won't ever get to utilize his full artifact. I get the 10% crit chance, which I do need. Oh, and he quits. Dang, I wish he would just S3 so we can actually counter. Um, but Ed gets crit damage and speed from countering up to four times. So really wanted to uh, ramp up that those stacks, and his S3 ramps up up to three times. Kind of like LR Crowl, the more S3s you use, the uh, more damage you do, right? So it's, he's very interesting in that regard. He's like a single target LR Crowl, and his, his damage isn't fantastic. He kind of does like LR Crowl type damage, I feel. Uh, once he's fully ramped up, has all buffs and everything, he can be quite strong though, so that is something to keep in mind. We're gonna first pick Dien, because this guy's not cleaving, Ron is banned, um, so we should be good. We're gonna try again to pick Ed, right? And I'm, I'm picking things like Dien because I don't want to fight them. You can't, like, Ed is not great into ice units, right? He's, he's fire. I'm kind of, it's kind of weird to see that he's fire, seeing that he's, you know, his ulti and everything is like, he's doing alchemy, right? On the ground and stuff. That's what he's known for, which makes me want to say he's more inclined to be earth, but I'm kind of glad he's not earth because, um, then I would, I would have too many earth units to, to want to pick, so it's unfortunate. Alright, he's going to go for, um, Amelia. <coughs> Excuse me. Coughing still hasn't fully gone away, I still cough quite a bit. Um, but... <clears throat> LR... wait, no, hang on. Why is he... Closer Charles, is he trying to cleave, but just without... Uh, Ron? We can go a Roz here. I guess we kind of wait it out, right? What's another neutrally pick? You know what's good here? Let's go Arc Demon. <clears throat> I'm not gonna pick Stene because if he does closer Charles Cleave, it could potentially do a ton of damage, but if I go for Arc Demon, it might be okay. Politus being picked out, he might cleave. Although Politus isn't too great of a damage dealer into my team, right? Straze is okay. Um, so what do we do? Closer Charles is probably fast, he's an opener. 
Uh, Amelia is gonna go for a push. We can always ban Straws, eh? Not a problem. With Politis, though, it does open us up to Ed, so keep that in mind. We can Ed this guy. Um, but in order to deal with Straza, you know what? Let's go for Kisei here. I think Kisei is a strong pick, and then let's go for. Let's just go for Ed. Let's slam Ed into the draft because we can. But I think Kisei is good here because we can either snipe the Politis early. Or we can snipe Closer Charles early. Or, I mean, if Strazi gets through a draft, we can go for him too. But I think we have to ban the Strazi, because he's... If he bans Kisei, we're in trouble, right? If he bans Kisei, we're in trouble. So I put the Kisei here just to kind of spook his last pick. Oh, it's Sid. Um, if it's Sid, then we ban Strazi. I think we're fine. Yeah, I think we're fine. We ban Straze. Please don't ban Ed. Don't ban Ed. Like, just... Okay. I picked Kisei just so he had something to ban, right? Okay, I'm so glad. Alright. Who do we protect in the back? We protect Dien, right? Sid going into Ed is not too big of a deal. Arc Demon's tanky, so we're gonna protect Dien here. And in return, she will protect the rest of the team. Okay. So, Sid, Sid goes first, which is fine. Uh, he also has Politis, which is, again, fine. Okay, so he's gonna go for Dien, maybe? No, he's- oh, he's gonna go for Ed! Not enough. Good try. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do it. I don't really care about the Politis. Uh, in fact, I kinda hope she does just S3 me or something. Hit me with a debuff. Hit my Ed with a debuff. Okay, good. Ed would have- oh, so Ed kind of cleansed that uh, stun there, you saw, and then he countered, right? So now there's blind on these two units, which is really good for me. Um, Ed gives a random debuff when he counters, and he cleanses. You can't stun Ed, by the way. If the one debuff- if the first debuff that lands is going to be a stun, he cleanses it and then he'll counter. Which is kind of nice. Okay. Closer Charles gets to go, he's going to S3. Is expected. Dien's pretty far back because Politis, um, Politis stops me from kind of pushing myself up, but now po uh, Politis gets to S3. We can't- oh, it's a, it's a very tanky Politis. It's a debuff Politis here. Okay. Uh, everyone has unbuffables, so what we're gonna do is just go for the Sid. <clears throat> and again, I'm not going to S3 here. One, I'm blind, but two, I want to soul burn. Right, so Sid's gonna see another turn, which is unfortunate, but no one's defense broken, so we're, we should be fine. I need Dien to stay alive, though. Okay, Closer's getting pushed up. Is he gonna try to finish off Ed? Well, Ed can counter if he hits me. Okay, no, he's gonna hit the A-Roz. He's critting a lot, by the way. For... Okay, there we go. Anti-crit doing something. We got defense broken, though. Can, uh... Okay, he can't push anymore, so that's good. <clears throat> Alright, everyone's still kind of struggling here, so let's go for this. Let's finish off the Sin, because I really don't want him alive. He's gonna, uh, kind of hurt. Good, we get to hit the Politis. It's not a resist Politis, which is kind of nice for me as well. Uh, let's just go in on the Closer Charles. It's a pretty bulky Closer, actually. Okay. Politis might try to finish off the Raws. We need Dien to just cleanse here, unless he stuns me somehow. Okay, no, that's fine. That is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and seal the Politis, or not, that's also fine. Let's go ahead and do this, Politis gets the proc again, but again, I need the cleanse here. <clears throat> okay, we're looking pretty healthy, and then Aroz can heal himself for the next turn, he can go ahead and uh, help himself with the defense buff and the um, self-healing on S3. So this shouldn't kill. There we go. Alright, and we're gonna go ahead and heal. Now we can go ahead and soul burn Ed. 
So I'm quite excited about this. There's no evasion on the closer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. He shouldn't have any damage once we get rid of closer here. Now again, you can see in these videos, I'm not gonna go ahead and try to promote and sell you, Ed. You know, I'm not sponsored by Smilegate, although Smilegate employees, if you're out there and you're watching the video, hit me up, you know. Be really keen to do a little collaboration. Uh, but with that aside, you can see that Ed isn't really doing amazing. Like, it's, it's not like the match results are win or lose by Ed, right? It's He's not that impactful of a unit. In fact, if I slapped, I don't know, Alencia into that match, she probably would have done just as fine, probably better, maybe, in some cases. Um, yeah, so, you know, it comes down to the situation. That team didn't really have many debuffs. Closer Charles had nothing. Sid could just ignore uh, Ed. Uh, Politus is really the one that I like bringing him into. Anything with AoEs that cause debuffs, like the first match with Arby, right? They purposefully, actively had to avoid s 3 just to avoid Ed. Now, could he have s 3 and got away with it because Ed doesn't do that much damage? Yeah, for sure. Um, but it's just interesting to know, right? This is the type of stuff you have to keep in mind if you're going to be using him. So, we're currently doing okay overall. I don't think we're doing uh, amazing, because the players are fighting here. Their drafts are a little on the weaker end, I, I think. There are, like, flaws in there, right? Like, that team, Closer Charles, was the main damage dealer, along with Sid. It's kind of a kind of an issue when I had a really bulky team like I did. All right, Ron and Wander Silk. So, he's going for the speed game, which is fine, because we can just go the slow game, so we can go Armin. Um, Deanna and Armin. <coughs> what else can I do? Uh, Politis? No, I don't think I want to do Politis into this guy. Oh, with Ron we go Rimuru, right? Just slam Rimuru. We already got two Earth units, so... I don't think we can use Ed into teams like this, by the way. Uh, Ed, not too great into Cleave, because it's really RNG, but maybe we can test him here if he doesn't pack too much damage. Now, if he goes Straze, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble, so we'll have to watch out for that. Uh, we can go Sage Ball as well. If I'm going full anti-Cleave, I can do Sage Ball, I can do Aeola, right? I have a lot of options to choose from. Politis is fine. Uh, we can go Dilibet as well. Ooh, uh, Summertime Syria. That's a little bit of an issue. Now, in a in a battle like this, actually, I would probably say Champ Z has more value than uh, Ed. So what we're going to do is we can go Sage Ball and Champ Z. <clears throat> yeah, I think that could work. Yeah, let's go Sage Ball, and then let's go Champ Z. It's been a long time since we've used Champ Z, right? So let's go for it. <clears throat> All of his units have debuffs, right? My Champ Z is very tanky, by the way, so we'll see how he does. Now, I just ban his last unit. It does not matter what his last unit is. Yeah, we just ban it. And we'll fight these four. Uh, Sage Ball is on resist build. Rimuru is on a tank build. C Armin is... I mean, not C Armin. Green Armin is Green Armin, and... You guys know how she always does on this channel. Dien's the only weak pick here because I can't outspeed this guy and she's probably gonna get... Well, actually, she might not get nuked. Maybe if a bomb lands on her, she'll get nuked, but... We'll see. Most of his damage is probably gonna come from Politis and uh, the Summertime Isyria. Alright, Champsy's banned, which is fine. Let's put Armin up here. Armin's giving my team health buff, by the way, which is fantastic because Sage Ball gonna be 20k something HP, and my Reamer is already at 20k HP, so he's probably hitting 21k, something like that. So everyone's gonna be very healthy. Team imprints, by the way, are very underrated. You don't always have to self-imprint on every unit. Now the problem with his Ron here is this. He can AoE, but if he AoEs here, Armin can counter. Oh, he is. He's gonna go for it. Um... Oh, and he hit my Rimuru and stuff! Wow, he can land his Stigma on everything. That's, uh, not good for me. Alright, but, uh, what, what else was I gonna say? Rimuru can counter here, though. Uh, if he s 2 Rimuru would have had a really good advantage, right, going into this. So let's go ahead and... Rimuru's not gonna cut, though, is the problem, because we have Stigma. 
So now, Summertime is here, you can go ahead and Soul Burn, try to stun something. <clears throat> Which again is fine. Can stun the DN, can... is not gonna stun the Sage Ball. I hope Sage Ball cuts the Politis though. Rimuru is probably gone, unfortunately. So it's, a, it's an Armin and Ball game here. Can we counter? There we go, there is a counter attack. Very nice. Okay, so two of my units are gone due to the stuns. Let's go ahead and just pop the S2. <clears throat> Alright, nice, very good. We slept everything. Now, everyone's gonna get lapped here, but it's fine. He's gonna go for the immunity so he can't get stunned by the Armin. Uh, which kinda sucks, but... He's hitting Sage Ball now. Okay. Can I get the Silk? I think I should be able to get the Silk, right? I didn't see how much health she had, but let's go for it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we... Ooh, that's pretty bad for me. Wow, wasn't able to get the Silk there. Oh, that Politus was so squishy! I should have paid attention to when they were going. Um, oh, that's really bad. I think I lost because of that, actually. Because uh, Armin's gonna get controlled here, and then Sage Ball. Ooh, I should have gone. I should have gone for the Politus. That was so bad. <clears throat> oh well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, uh, I can't. I can't win this. There's no way that Armin is gonna do anywhere near enough here. Yeah, that was my bad. That was a misplay. I should have paid attention to the health. And I, I'm guilty. I normally don't, but. Anyway, that's not the focus of this video. This video is an Ed video, and he currently has a 100% win rate, even though anyone else really could do his job. But it's fine. It's fine. Uh, the other weak thing about my draft there was that Dien was a dead pick, right? First pick Dien, she was kind of dead. The guy had Ron, and he was able to just go and cleave, so... Let's see, Sea Lily's banned, Bellion banned. This guy's probably cleaving too, so hey, let's first pick Aroz instead. Aroz is a better first pick because he's still useful into those cleave comps. Let's go for that. <clears throat> I, I kind of just want to play standard, right? This whole season, I just really want to play standard. Um, it's just more... it's more enjoyable for me, because I don't like to play what everyone else is playing. Because we have so many cleavers running around, cleave kind of became boring to me. I like playing the... I know standard's a very popular way to play, but I like playing the not as popular, not as dominant, uh, play style in any given meta. Alright, so let's see here. Watch a Shuri sit. I mean, he's gonna cleave. That's very evident. Uh, there's no reason for me to really contest him on any front, so let's just go Armin. And let us go for. Oh, we can go Meru. Yeah, let's go Meru. Could have gone Politus too, maybe. Actually, nah, Sid can just snipe Politus, right? Mine's a DPS one, so... Yeah, this is fine. Uh, Tomoka being picked out, that's okay. It's a weird little cleave he's trying to do here. Uh... Yeah, it's a strange cleave that he's trying. We can go for Sage Ball, for sure. Okay, close the trials. We go Sage Ball. And then I think we go for, um... We can go for... Selene, probably. Do we go Spirit Eye Selene? No, we can go... Uh, no, not Arby, because he has Tomoka, right? So... Huh. He does have debuffs, not Dilibet. Politus could be okay, but she's probably gonna get sniped early. Let's go Spirit Eye Selene. Alright, and he's going for Summer Ice Sirius. We banned the Closer Charles, and I think we're good. Right? I think we're good. Tomoka, hmm. Uh, Tomoka and stuff, you know. Might push up, might cut and things. I think we're fine. Ban Closer Charles. Sage Ball's banned, that's fine. Put, uh, Selene in the back, and. 
Let's try our best. Let's see how it goes, right? Uh, it comes down to Meru and Armin countering. Selene's just here as a fail safe. So he's gonna push up his team, <clears throat> which is fine. All right, can we get a? Oh, he's gonna go from extinction on Meru. Okay. Oh, that was oh, that was so close. My Meru, if only she had a little bit more bulk. Unfortunate. Um, oh, actually, I didn't think about this. The summertime Asteria can knock out the Selene. Selene was probably not the pick into Tomoka too. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Unfortunately, can we stun? No, only a Sid. Okay. So Watcher still gets to just hit Selene. Can we get another counter though? Can we get another counter? Oh, who's he gonna nuke? The Armin? Oh, the Aroz. Oh, wait. Hang on. He didn't. I think I dual attack here into Sid. Oh, I have attack down, so I'm not really gonna heal anything. That's unfortunate. Ah, oh, that's really unfortunate. I was really hoping we would uh, be able to snag the kill on that Sid at least, but <clears throat> no counters. <laughs> Come on, Armin. You can do it. He's gonna give her to Vayraz here. Oh, you're gonna get counter. All right. Stun. Got the stun on the Watcher. Okay. Armin's taking quite a bit of damage, though, unfortunately. He's gonna land a bomb. We get to cleanse it, but can we counter? Stun. Very nice. All right, Tomoka. S2. Probably gonna S3 again. I think we're screwed. We don't have a defense buff. Maybe I should have Vayraz defense buffed. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to go for that Selene S2. Oh, but that's not 100% crit on the Tomoka. So let's just go for this. We still have a chance. There's still a chance. There's a chance, Copium. It's fine. It's not like Iceria can just strip two of our buffs and uh, we'll get bombed again. All right, come on. You can do it, Armin. Counter. Very nice. Got rid of the Watcher. Got uh, stunned the Tomoka. But it's gonna strip our yeah, it's gonna strip our defense buff, so not much we can do. He's gonna S3, and I think that's it. So that's unfortunate. Oh. Oh he emoted me. Oh, and I, I already quit. But that's unfortunate. Uh ran to two cleavers at the end. Really just wanted to use Ed, right? But these people are drafting very weirdly, very strangely. Cause cleavers usually bring some form of debuffs. We would have been nice to get to try Ed. Right in one of these games, but he really had no debuffs. He had a one-shot unit. Sid has debuffs, but he doesn't. It's on his S1, and he can't really hit Ed because of elemental disadvantage. Tomoka has no debuffs. I mean, Cecilia has debuffs, but it's not the kind that really. Um, it, with just a Cecilia, it's not going to be too impactful for Ed. But yeah. Oh well. And then this one here. I mean. <laughs> just unfortunate for us we we misplayed so oh well but with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this video i really do appreciate it uh before you go though i promised ed and here he is now my ed is a little scuffed he only has his s3 uh with anything on it he's a little scuffed here so the problem with him right now is that he doesn't have enough hp and the reason is because of this Imagine if the necklace was flipped and I had 40% HP right here. He doesn't need this defense, right? If this was flipped, it'd be fantastic. This is just a placeholder necklace and I'll be getting, uh, I'll be trying to get uh, an HP one later, right? So it's not too hard to get and I'll continue trying. But the rest of this stuff I think is pretty solid. Uh, and he's on his own artifact here, which I only got one copy of. Um, if you want to watch the summon session, though, go ahead and check it out on the channel. It's quite a wild roller coaster ride. But anyway, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Epic 7 content, and leave a comment down below Let me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.